Thanks to Mars. And take a look at this. This is unbelievable. This is happening in the scientific uh, community. This is going to be a mad science update. They want to get people stoned, and they think it's going to help their uh, mental health. The DMT stuff is very, very nasty. It's, um, the shamans use it. You take it. That ayahuasca is where it comes from. Uh, basically, everything comes out from both ends. Very, very nasty. And then they, uh, trip out and gross. A powerful hallucinogenic drug known for its part in shamanic rituals is being trialed as a potential cure for depression for the first time. Oh, brother. So now we're getting people stoned on DMT. I don't get it. I don't get how this can even be allowed. Participants will be given the drug DMT followed by talking therapy. They have no idea what that is. So this can offer an alternative to a significant of people, number of people who don't respond to conventional pills for depression. Psychedelic assisted therapy might offer a longer-term relief from symptoms, some researchers believe. Uh, some researchers, let's say drug, uh, drug pushers. Uh, I think drug pushers would be a uh, better description for them. Growing body of evidence indicates that other psychedelic drugs, particularly alongside Talking therapy are safe and can be effective in for treating a range of mental illnesses. Uh, it's a dark drug that are causing a lot of mental illnesses, people. This is disgusting. Utterly disgusting. This will be the first time DMT is given to people with moderate to severe depression in a clinical trial. Carol Rutledge, the chief scientific officer, otherwise known as a drug pusher in this case, of Small Pharma. Uh, where are they based? Uh, south of the border? The company running the trial said, we believe the impact will be almost immediate and longer lasting conventional antidepressants. Yeah, they'll be uh, tripping out and having flashbacks and the drug is known as spirit molecule because of the way it alters human consciousness and produces hallucinations that have been likened to a near-death experiment experience. It's also the active ingredient in ayahuasca, a traditional Amazonian plant medicine used to bring spiritual enlightenment. Oh my god. Researchers believe the drug may help loosen brain's fixed pathways, which can then be reset with talking therapy afterwards. So, where are they getting all these drug pushers that are uh, called researchers? I don't get it. Ms. Rutledge likened the drug to shaking a snow globe, throwing entrenched negative thought patterns up in the air. Oh my god, I can't, I can't deal, I'm sorry. A snow globe? Alright, that's it. I can't deal. God sakes. The drug pushers are being called researchers now. That's enough of this. 
Sorry, folks, I can't deal. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.